Welcome to Today in History on The Breakfast. Uh, what we start with is what happened in Jonestown, America. Now, it is not your usual, it doesn't fit into the explanatory box of black versus white, um, um, religion versus secular, uh, political um, or opponents. It doesn't fit into the usual boxes that we have when we talk about what really happened. So let me, let me share the story, and I'm looking forward to hearing your perspective on why the media was complicit in this. So this happened in 1978, but uh, let's go back a little bit to 1950s when this church uh, started, this religious sect. Um, it was called the People's Temple, and it was founded by a guy called Jim Jones um, somewhere in Indianapolis. Um, it, uh, of course, had a large African-American uh, membership uh, because he spoke a lot about racism, or rather against racism. Uh, the church continued and then, well, the religious sect continued, and then sometime in, uh, 19, in the 1970s, the media um, accused Jim Jones and his religious sect of uh, being um, a complicit of, of course, um, abuse, physical abuse, and uh, sexual abuse, and um, uh, mismanagement of funds, also financial recklessness. Um, because of that you know, level of um, criticism that he was starting to get, he then decided he was going to leave Indianapolis and move to a place called Jonestown in Guyana. So he moves the sect over there. They set up you know, like a new small community in Jonestown and start a small, you know, like this is now our place. Um, promised, of course, his members of his sect that there was going to be a lot, you know, more uh, better living conditions and they were going to have their own community where they can, you know, live without criticism. Unfortunately, when they got to Jonestown, it wasn't the same thing. The abuse continued, fiscal abuse continued, their passports were seized so they couldn't leave um, uh, the um, environment, um, sexual abuse continued and all of that. Um, sometime in, in 1978, I think a day before uh, this happened on the 17th of November, a uh, congressman, his name was uh, Leo Joe Ryan, Ryan, or Leo Ryan um, decided to visit Jonestown and see for himself uh, because former members of the sect had reported that this was what was going on with the members there. So he went, paid a visit, um, but they didn't make it out alive because Jim Jones had lost control of his members. Eventually, um, Leo Ryan was killed, the congressman was killed. Um, and in response to that, um, for some reason, Jim Jones decided that he was going to get everybody to kill themselves. And so by the next morning, 909 people had been killed. One third of that number were children. Um, a lot of them had been forced to take uh, cyanide. A lot of them had been shot. Um, but it was a mass suicide and murder that took place overnight until the next morning. Okay, so let, let me break down something for you. From what goes, when I started reading the story, I was, why, I, I wanted to see the perspectives around it. I spent almost all my time reading about this yesterday just to understand the, I mean, the suicide, murder, massacre, which one are we going to take? Now, they say that the people there are mainly, you have the very elderly, you have the young people, and then you have the children. The children could not have committed suicide. Okay. They were murdered. I mean, a lot of persons were, they were, obviously, they, murdered. They, they murdered. were obviously murdered. And then the elderly were faced with two choices, leave and continue in penury in a jungle where there is nothing that works, or take the easy part and die. So that cannot be said to be an acceptance to commit suicide. They were compelled by circumstances beyond their control to make that decision. And then for the young people, from what I read, they were thinking, and I mean, it, it, it's logical if you worship hero, worship somebody like today we say role models and all of that, and that person is so powerful in your head that anything that person says is law. You go ahead and you do it. So it brings to question, really, was it a suicide or was it a massacre instituted by one who has, you know, immense control over people's uh, mental... Um, I, um, I feel it was a mixture of all of it, you know, but for me, the most or the biggest point for me is really um, hero worshipping, like you mentioned, 
and the reason why they were all there in the first place. See, the kids, of course, no, maybe I'll didn't I'll bring you have, back to the hero have. worship if we have enough time to talk about yeah, this because... It, it still happens today and that's why it is, it is, you know, the big point for me. The fact that they were all, you know, they all moved with Jim Jones to Guyana where this happened. The fact that he was able to convince them. Some of them were obviously were forced into uh, suicide. Um, some of them were compelled maybe at gunpoint. But the fact that they were all there, same thing happened with Reverend King here in Nigeria. If you remember, he had something that was very similar to that. It was, in quote, a church, but they had very similar experiences with abuse and with fear of their spiritual leader. Eventually, of course, he was sent to jail for murder after he set fire on, on uh, one of his um, um, congregants. But it, it's the same thing, you know, the way that... People can be pulled towards religion, towards a little savior that they see, you know, amongst themselves. It, 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 it's also an amplification of the fact that people, that uh, there are people who prey on our sentiment and our prejudices, right? They use it and before you know it, you, you can say it's not going to happen to me. But people can speak to your sentiments, things that you believe in, and it becomes a part of Absolutely. your leaning. So let's talk about the part that I was talking, uh, the, the media complicity in this. Um, I read something in the Washington Post, and they were saying that if the media hadn't amplified, before he was criticized, he was celebrated. And there, there was an aspect where they said, if this man had been hit by a boss, say, for instance, in the 50s, and he died, we'll be remembering him as somebody who had an impact, a positive impact in the um, civil rights movement uh, yeah, at exactly. some point. But because it degenerated, and as, a, as, a, as, as the media, the media amplified what he was doing, helped him to amass this kind of following, and then fell to do due diligence when the time became necessary to call him out. He made statements two years before the massacre saying that he will, he, in order to entrench socialism, he will do what he, even if he has to die, he will not die alone. He will go with thousands. That was a, a, um, 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 a black flag well, I mean, well, for us to have picked up, but nobody picked it. And we continue to do that even today. We amplify things they say bad news is good news. We amplify things that should ordinarily not be amplified. Our director is telling us to move on, but this is such an interesting conversation. Interesting like conversation. You, 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 you keep reading and then you keep seeing uh, different dimensions uh, to it. Um, there is a word that was uh, introduced. Uh, is it uh, demagoguery, uh, the appeal to sentiment and prejudice of people in order to get them to do um, uh, things. And you cannot yes. say you won't be complicit. You have to watch it because we already have it today. Hero worship to the extent of extremism. It takes us to the second part 909 today. 909 people died. And we'll just quickly share because uh, we're out of time. In Kano in 2015, also uh, November 18th, um, 11 people, those figures are not even you know confirmed yet, but you know it says 11 people died after uh, people. two bombs went off in the mobile phone market. Market somewhere in uh, Kano State. The two um, are connected, really. It's, connected. it's, it's um, one part preaching, um, you're going to get freedom. Um, Guyana, the Jonestown is going to be an El Dorado. And then you have these people who will willingly blow up themselves, themselves. to make a statement. And who, give, who amplifies it? Let me see if I can find uh, something. Said uh, the purpose of, as stated, uh, for the People's Temple was to feed the hungry, clothe the needy, and to try and raise people out of um, their situation. There's always, there's it's always, it's uh, basically, it is, they are not doing it to amplify whatever their belief is. They're doing it for the prominence, and that is the role that the media does. We give them the platform to get more attention and get people to, the world basically, to listen to what they're doing. If we don't give them the spotlight, uh, well, I mean, I, I don't entirely agree, but we're out of time. Yeah, so, it's so the very trouble. We can't be all bad, but I mean, we played a huge role in this. We should be um, a bit more diligent, I guess. That's my thinking. Um, Once again, um, in Kano State, of course, uh, we just spoke about that. And it makes you remember that era in Nigeria's history where, you know, we used to hear of suicide bombings, you know, almost every other day. It's not people, over. In 2014, about 100 people, you know, lost their lives. Um, also in, uh, I think I was in Yola. Um, and there's been, you know, multiple of these stories. We have less of them today, but um, we're still fighting the war against them. Yeah, but my takeaway is that as we continue to have poverty, inequality in society, people who have a strong desire to believe 
we will continue to have people like uh, Jim Jones who will take life. We'll continue to have people like the name you called, um, the other um, uh, Reverend King. Reverend King. We'll continue to have people like that we'll until we create a society where everyone has a fair share to the stake. Hello. And that's Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.